Hi, this is Pratik and welcome to Codeberry Pi. In this video tutorial, we'll learn about single linked list. So linked list is one of the most fundamental and important concept of data structures. Apart from single linked list, there's something also called doubly linked list, but we're gonna take doubly linked list in some other later tutorial. So for now, let's understand what is a single linked list. So this is an example of a single linked list, which contains four nodes and each node is linked to its previous node and there is a one-way path from left to right so from first node you can go to the second node from second node you can reach to the third node and from third node you can reach to the fourth node and at the starting there is head which is referencing the first node there is a head which uh, references the first node so and each node is also divided into two parts so first part is data and the second part is next and similarly the same case goes with the other nodes and for the last node the first part is data and the other part is none because this last node doesn't contain reference to any other node so this head serves as the starting point of this linked list that is if i want to traverse this linked list from first to the last node then i will have to get the reference of the first node from the head once I get the reference of the first node from the head, I will then traverse way up till the end of the linked list. But first, let's understand how to push a link, how to push a node at the front of the linked list. So before we even begin to push our first node into the linked list, the, our the, our head will be initially referencing to none, saying that there is no node in the given linked list. But as soon as I form a node, then I will change the a reference of head which was initially pointed to none now our head will be pointing to this new node so now let's just code this simple step first i am gonna define a class node and this class node will be responsible for creating a new node and inside this class node i am gonna define a constructor which will be taking as the node data as the parameter and this node data can then be passed onto a new variable called data and this data can be accessed by the object of this class node so don't worry about that we're gonna see it later but for now we assign the node data to self the data and we also make the next part of the node as none and then we are gonna create a class length list and this class link list will be responsible for formation of the entire link list and inside this class i am gonna define uh, another constructor and this constructor will initialize our head to none because remember that before even we started making the link list our head was none and after this we gotta define a function push and this push function will push a newly created node at the front of the link list and this push function is taking the parameter node data which means inside this push function we gonna create an object of the class node and we're gonna form a new node and we're gonna push that node at the front of the linked list therefore we create an object of the class node and that object we call as new node and during the object formation i also pass the node data as the parameter as the data that i want our node to be filled with now after formation of the new node we gotta assign our head to point to this new node because remember that our head was initially pointing to none but now after this our head will point to new node so we are done with pushing the first node but after this for the other nodes to be pushed at the beginning of the link list and suppose i created the second node at by using the function push and i want to push this newly created second node into the beginning of at the front of the linked list let's suppose the data of the first node was one and the data of the second node is two then our linked list gotta look like this so this was having the data two and this was in the data one so two was appended was pushed at the front of the linked list and it came before this node so you see that now our head has the reference of the newly created node that was appended at the front of the linked list and also see that this node has the reference of the first node which means uh, 
the question arises how would you get the reference of the first node to store that in the second node so obviously before you reach to this state we were in this state which means when we are at this state we got to take the reference of the first node from the head and assign that into next and after doing that we got to assign the head to point to the second node so in our code i got to add one more line that is you know dot next is called self dot head that is <clears throat> that is we take the whatever reference the head was storing and we put that in the new nodes next and then we change the reference of head to point to the new node so i hope this works well of this i would also like to print the link list so let's define a function called print list and since i have to traverse from the beginning of the link list to the end of the link list i am gonna define any go i'm gonna define a new variable called l and i'm gonna assign it to a cell dot head because we got to take the reference of head to start moving from the first node and then we're going to define a while loop and saying while one don't worry i'm gonna also write the break statement for this so while one print l dot data so initially l is the head itself which means when we write l dot data which means it's going to print the data of the first node and this end is basically a syntax for you know not to break the line and print it in a single line okay else our print would break the line and print in separate lines okay and then we write l equals to l dot next so first our l is going to reference the head and we write when i write l equals to l dot next now our l is going to reference the node which is at the right of head and in order to break this i am going to write that if l dot next is equal to none then i am going to simply break it saying that we have reached up till the end of the link list wait i think we should just uh, put it at the beginning of the sprint statement and also i don't think there will be next because i think it will be l if l is equal to equal to none because uh, while we are continually continuously moving our l to l dot next which means when our l finally reaches to this position then again L will become L dot next and while loop runs and then L will be none and when L is L finally becomes none then again the while loop runs and uh, it will see that if L is none then it's gonna break so I think this should work all right so now let's just create an object of the class link list and then declare uh, the push function and the push function i'm going to create the first node with the data as one and similarly using the push function again create uh, two more nodes with data as two and three so remember that you gotta use the push function by using the object all right because the push uh, the basic reason why i designed self here so that we can access this push function by creating an object of the class link list and after this we are going I'm going to call the print list function so that we get to see what has been created and let's see whether there is an error so here it should be capital n all right now we're good to go so if i save this program and if i run it so there you see the first node that was created was having the data as one and this is the second node and this is the third node and all got appended all got pushed at the front of the link list. So this is how you actually uh, make the single link list and you push randomly created nodes at the front of the link list. So I hope you understood this tutorial. Uh, like and share this video and thanks for watching.